Today we'll be testing Richard Helliger's latest differential controllers. Now the nice thing about these differential controllers is that they can be installed right inside an AC outlet. These controllers are designed to work just with AC pumps, but the controller itself of course needs a DC power supply, so the uh, DC adapter is built right into this controller. So this is all you'll see after you install it. It, it installs right inside the AC outlet and all the wires, the uh, temperature probes, the wires that go to the pump, and of course the AC wires are all installed inside the AC outlet and then you have this face plate that goes over it. Uh, there's a red light here. When this red light comes on that means the pump is on and you can control the differential on uh, temperature with this button here. And we'll take a look and see how that works a little later. But the first, uh, the first differential controller we want to look at is something I call the AC only differential controller with the liquid crystal display. Now this controller has many functions that the user can program but it also has a display so you can actually see the collector temperature and the storage temperature and uh, the state of the pump whether the pump is on or off and also uh, the differential the, the difference in temperature between the collector and the storage and the user is able to program this with just two buttons this is the increment button here and this is the decrement button and we have the the probes that we'll be using and this is the collector probe and this is the storage probe and uh, the first thing we want to do we're just going to do a quick test to make sure that our pump is working so we're going to cycle through the menu and turn on the pump. We do this by pressing the increment button down and holding it for a count of two. One, two. Now we, now if the pump is on auto, if we press this button here, we can turn the pump on. If we press the button again, turn the pump off, press the pump, press the button again, and the pump is on automatic. Automatic is the function that will be used most of the time. Okay, now let's take a close look and see how this actually works. Okay, let's take a closer look at Richard's AC only differential controller with the liquid crystal display. Okay, uh, you can see the display right now. Uh, the collector temperature is 74.6 degrees and the pump is off and the storage temperature is 71.9 degrees and the differential between the two probes is 2 degrees. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, uh, just like we did before, let's go through this again. Uh, we're going to press the increment button and we're going to decide whether or not we want the pump to be on, off, or automatic. So, one, two, release. It's on automatic. We can change that. Turn the pump on. Or we can turn the pump off. Or we can turn the pump on automatic. And um, this is the normal position for the pump would be on automatic. This is when we're collecting heat from the collector. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is set the differential, the differential on temperature and the differential off temperature. The differential on is the temperature at which the pump comes on and the differential off is the temperature at which the pump goes off. So we're going to cycle through. We hit the increment button. We want to button. set the differential off temperature to 5 degrees. So we do that by cycling through at a count of 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we see the differential off is 11 degrees. We want to set that to 5 degrees. So we're pressing the decrement button down to 5. Seeing the differential off temperature would be 5 degrees. Wait 5 seconds and the default display comes on. Okay, now what we'd like to do is set the differential on temperature. We can do that by pressing the increment button and holding it down to a count of 3. 1, 2, 3. Release the button and the, we see the 
on differential is 18 degrees. You want to decrement that though, so we're pressing the decrement button. You want to get that down to 10 degrees. Okay, so the on differential is now set to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now we'd like to set the boil protection. I'd like to disable it for now. Let's see uh, where it is. So we press this increment button down at a count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boil protection is disabled. Now if we wanted to change that setting, we just press the, the increment or the decrement button. Okay, now we just have one last function to, uh, to take a look at, and that's uh, we have our choice of viewing the temperature in either centigrade degrees or Fahrenheit. Okay, last but not least, we have our centigrade or Fahrenheit setting. So that enables us to look at our temperature in either uh, centigrade or Fahrenheit degrees. So we can look at that. That's number 10 on our menu. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so right now it's set to, to Fahrenheit. If we press this, we can set it to centigrade, but we want it to be set at Fahrenheit, so we press it again. So our temperature reading will be in Fahrenheit, and that's just about where we'd like it to be. All right, let's try this once again. Take a look at the collecting temperature. We're going to turn the pump on by increasing the temperature here. You'll notice the temperature jump right up to 87 degrees. So that's more than enough to turn our pump on. So the differential has to go below 5. We can also increase our storage temperature to turn the pump off. Okay. Remember, uh, for the differential controller to work, we're sensing a difference in temperature. The actual temperature is not what controls the pump, it's a difference in temperature. That's why it's called differential control. The moment the default display comes up, and we can see the default temperature is 75.5 degrees, and the storage temperature, I'm sorry, the collector temperature is 75.5 degrees. The pump is off, the storage temperature is 72.5 degrees, and the differential between the two probes is 3 degrees. Now, if we add a little heat to the collector, uh, if we, we just want to raise the temperature of the collector 10 degrees, that's about all it'll take uh, to turn the pump on. All right? Watch the uh, collector temperature rise as I put this the um, soldering iron next to the probe. Okay, you can see it's up to 81 degrees, and the differential is 7. Okay, so came on when the differential went above 10 degrees. The differential is now 13 degrees. Now the differential is 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. All right, so the temperature of the collector probe is dropping. When that temperature goes, when the differential temperature goes below 5 degrees, the function come off. Differential is now 7 degrees. Notice the, the temperature is still dropping on the collector probe. It's 6 degrees. It's 5 degrees. All it has to do is drop one more degree and the pump should come off. Let's see if it does. So the collector temperature is 79.7 degrees, the storage temperature is 74.6 degrees, there. So now that the differential between the two probes is 4 degrees, and the pump comes off. That's the, the basic idea of how a differential controller works. Now there are a few other functions that you'll be able to program with this controller, uh, such as the boil protection, so it prevents the pump from coming on if the temperature is too hot, and the freeze protection, 
which actually turns the pump on if the, the collector is too cold. That's used in desert areas where the um, freezing is a rare phenomena, but when it does happen, you, you like to circulate the water. If you're using uh, glycol in your system, it, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use free for protection. Anyway, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Okay, now let's take a look at our AC only basic differential controller. Remember, there's just one button that we'll be using uh, to set the um, function of this. And this sets the uh, function of the differential on temperature. The differential off is, is preset at 4 degrees. So all you have to worry about is setting the differential on. And we do that by pressing this and the longer we hold this down, you'll see it flash. One, two, three, four. So right now the differential on is four degrees higher than the differential off. So that would be a differential on of eight degrees. Okay, uh, and that's all there is to it. You're done. Now if we want to use this AC only basic differential controller uh, in conjunction with a monitoring device uh, we can use this um, six position monitor. This is all set up for it. Uh, so we just take the, the wires, uh, the probe extensions from the differential controller and bring it into the six position monitor. Uh, so we have two probes coming out. This is the storage probe and this is the collector probe. Now, uh, the first thing we want to do is program the uh, controller uh, so that we're going to set the differential on temperature uh, about 8 degrees higher than the differential off. Okay, so we press this and hold it down for 1, 2, 3, 4 seconds. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So if this is the storage temperature, the um, pump should come on at about 91 or 92 degrees or so. Alright, so this is the storage temperature, position 6, and this is the collector temperature, 84.5. Storage, remember, is 83.6, so they're just about the same temperature. So uh, if we add 8 degrees to that, that'll be about 92, maybe 93 degrees. So let's raise the temperature of this, uh, of the collector, and when it reaches, uh, it should turn the uh, differential controller on when it reaches uh, about 92 or 93 degrees. Let's see. That's true. Don't, please don't make me a liar. Okay, that's about right. Okay, now it's going to stay on until this uh, collector temperature gets very close to the storage temperature. So this is 92 degrees for the collector temperature and it's uh, 83 degrees for the storage. So this has to this has a ways to go. It's got about seven, oh, it's maybe six degrees to go. It has to drop a little lower. Now we can also raise the temperature of the storage until it gets close to the collector temperature. That's another way of getting the pump to turn off. So this is the storage temperature, 86, 87. Okay, there. Now it comes off. So there's a few degrees difference between the collector and the storage tank and uh, the pump comes off. And that's what we want, uh, to try to maximize the heat collection. Anyway, this is another option and it comes with one other uh, feature that you might be interested in uh, and that's a solar, a solar flux uh, monitor that attaches on the top here and uh, this is used uh, to of course measure the intensity of sunlight as a percentage of the uh, sunlight that's available. I know that's a kind of a crazy term but when uh, you see the number 100 that means you have a hundred percent of the sunlight that you possibly could have. Uh, it's, uh, so that situation would exist someplace maybe on the Gobi Desert or something. That's a very unusual condition. About the highest that I've seen it in my neighborhood on Long Island is about 
uh, 80%. Okay, anyway, that's, uh, that's it for our AC only basic differential controller and the six position monitor.